I don't think people understand what makes a villain truly unforgettable. What is it about a villain that captivates us? Is it their ruthlessness, their cunning, or is it something deeper, something that speaks to the shadows within ourselves? We are drawn to stories of good versus evil, light against dark. But the most compelling villains are more than just embodiments of wickedness. Think about your favorite villains. They are memorable not just for their evil deeds but for the motivations that drive them. They may terrify us but they also intrigue us. They make us question our own moral compass and force us to confront the uncomfortable truth that the line between good and evil is often blurred. The best villains like the best heroes are multifaceted. They have depths that are slowly revealed, motivations that are both understandable and unforgivable. They are not simply evil for the sake of being evil. They have reasons however twisted for their actions. And it is this complexity, this glimpse into the darkness of the human soul, that makes a villain truly unforgettable. Gus Fring, the seemingly mild-mannered fast-food entrepreneur from the critically acclaimed series Breaking Bad, embodies this complexity. He is a brilliant example of a villain who is both terrifying and strangely magnetic. On the surface, Gus is the epitome of success. He is a respected businessman, a philanthropist, a pillar of the community, but beneath this veneer of normalcy lies a ruthless criminal mastermind. Gus is a man who controls a vast drug empire. He is calculating, patient, and utterly ruthless in eliminating anyone who threatens his business. His actions are always carefully considered, his moves planned out with chess-like precision. He understands the importance of appearances. He knows that power lies not just in brute force but in the ability to blend in, to appear harmless. This duality, this ability to compartmentalize, is what makes Gus Fring such a compelling and terrifying antagonist. Gus's double life is essential to his character. As the owner of Los Pollos Hermanos, he cultivates an image of respectability. He is the friendly face behind the counter, always ready with a smile and a kind word for his customers. This public persona is so convincing that it lulls both his enemies and the audience into a false sense of security. We see him interact with law enforcement, donate to charities, and even offer fatherly advice. This contrast between his mundane public life and his clandestine criminal activities is what makes Gus so fascinating. It highlights the lengths he will go to protect his empire and the meticulous nature of his operation. His ability to maintain this charade is a testament to his discipline and his intelligence. He never breaks character, never reveals his true nature unless absolutely necessary. And it is this restraint that makes his eventual descent into violence all the more shocking and impactful. Section 4, The Slow Burn, Unveiling the Depths of Villainy One of the most masterful aspects of Gus Fring's character is the slow burn reveal of his true nature. We don't see him engage in violence in the early seasons of Breaking Bad. He is presented as a businessman, albeit one with a mysterious aura. But as the series progresses, we get glimpses of the monster beneath the surface. We see his ruthlessness in his dealings with rivals, the cold-blooded efficiency with which he eliminates threats. The writers expertly build up to this reveal, allowing the tension to mount with each passing episode. This slow burn approach makes Gus's eventual descent into violence all the more impactful. It subverts our expectations and forces us to confront the uncomfortable truth that evil can often lurk in the most unexpected places. Gus's transformation from respected businessman to cold-blooded killer is a masterclass in character development and a reminder that appearances can be deceiving. Section 5. A Worthy Adversary, Gus Fring and the Elevation of Walter White Gus Fring's brilliance as a villain lies not only in his own complexity, but also in how he elevates the protagonist's journey. Walter White, the show's protagonist, undergoes a dramatic transformation over the course of the series. He evolves from a meek high school chemistry teacher to a ruthless drug lord. Gus acts as a catalyst for Walter's transformation. He is a formidable opponent, one who forces Walter to become increasingly ruthless and cunning in order to survive. Their interactions are a battle of wits, a clash of titans. Each man recognizes the darkness within the other, and their relationship becomes a twisted reflection of their own moral descent. Gus's presence pushes Walter to his limits, forcing him to confront his own capacity for evil. It is through his interactions with Gus that Walter truly embraces his alter ego, Heisenberg. This dynamic between protagonist and antagonist is a masterclass in storytelling, highlighting how a well-crafted What's your next step towards greatness? Characters to new heights. Share your thoughts in the comments below, and let's inspire each other to reach new heights. Until next time, keep striving, keep growing, and keep believing in the power of your dreams.